grief and anger tonight after two people are killed in a Kapaya County train crash. 12 News Jade Belexa tells us why the community says this should have never happened. Jade. Melanie, a train crashes into an SUV in Crystal Springs last night at Hartley Lane, leaving those who knew them just heartbroken. People we talked to say their deaths may have been prevented with more safety measures in place. About 10 years after Daniel Minters lost his brother, his cousin has died at the same train crossing. I've been involved with this situation since 2010. I lost my brother Alonzo, and this, they, uh, since I've been involved with it, it's been three other deaths. London was number six. We are devastated by the death of Kenya. The Kapaya County Sheriff identified the driver as Lori D. Jackson and the passenger as Kenya Brown Wilson. Kenya Brown Wilson. This is her keys to her automobile, and this is to her, her cell phone. A train hit the Lexus SUV. The coroner says they both died at the scene. There are no crossing arms, and that's what Mentors is fighting for. We dropped the ball as a community. I dropped the ball as an individual, and they dropped the ball as a supervisor. So we, there shouldn't be another death down here. The coroner doesn't have an exact number of deaths at this train crossing, but says he's been called out to several. Minters is calling on the Kapaya County Board of Supervisors once again. Okay. We're going to go with petitions. We're going to go to the supervisor board meeting again. We're going to go there in numbers and force. Let them know that it's not, it's not only a few that's involved in this situation, it's a family, it's a, it's a community, it's a neighborhood that's involved in this situation. A neighbor who lives nearby expresses his anger. It really hurts and makes you angry and mad and want to take your frustration out on someone, but you don't know who to take it out on because you're getting railroaded with the red tape from the government. Family and community members look on astonished at the thought that maybe with crossing arms, their lives could have been saved. And we reached out to Canadian National Railway for a response. And we have heard back from Perry Hood, the supervisor for District 3, saying they have been working on improving this crossing for some 12 to 15 years and agreed there are too many people who have died. He said in part, quote, in the past, we have installed signs and warnings at this crossing, but obviously they have been ignored. We are saddened by this last accident and are doing everything within our power to expedite the installation of the gate. I will be contacting Commissioner Simmons and see if we can put a rush on this project. Our hearts and prayers are with all the lives that have been lost here and with their families. We hope to have the gates installed as soon as possible. To read the full statement and more information, just go to our website, WJTV.com. In the studio, Jade Belexa, 12 News.